Hello and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Uh, last episode we had a big clash uh, with the British Navy and I lost a battleship which is not good. Uh, my naval prestige is down quite a bit. Um, so the British have more victory points than I do right now but that will change for the better uh, sure uh, so we're losing quite a bit of money uh, because we are repairing quite a few ships uh, th th three battleships one will be um, ready in, well two of them will be ready in one turn so the worth uh, was uh, Quite badly damaged uh, by torpedoes, so it's gonna take two months. Uh, but other than that, we are in pretty good shape. Uh, but I was thinking about actually designing a battle cruiser, uh, which should be uh, cheaper than actually an actual battleship. And it can still displace 25,000 tons, which is uh, roughly the same as the Dreadnoughts. Uh, so I think that's what I'm going to do. So first of all, we want a main tower. Advanced tower. I think we'll put the best towers in. Oh, this is a big one. Jeez. Let's keep it. Let's just place it down, doesn't matter, we can uh, change it around as we, there we go. Uh, and it's gonna need a funnel, but first of all, we are going to set some parameters. Now speed, uh, can I get it to 28 knots? Gonna cost a lot of weight. go standard on bulkheads. How f what's the range? We'll have to fiddle around with this a bit uh, to see once we get the guns placed on it to see how the um, how much weight we have for armor and such. So we have a standard or default armor of 20.7 centimeters on the main belt. 8 on the four belt, 7.7 .7 on the aft belt, uh, pretty good deck armor, 7 centimeters. Um, but first of all, let's take a look at the components. Uh, so there's coal, which is the basic type of fuel, uh, and then there's semi oil, which it actually decreases the fuel stowage. Uh, which is a good thing, it, it requires less uh, fuel basically. Uh, smoke interference uh, is better, engine cost per weight is up, uh, cost is up, there's also a uh, greater ammo detonation chance, but that is, uh, if you design your ships well, the enemy must really get a lucky hit to be able to uh, cause a flash fire uh, ships. So let's go with semi oil. Natural boilers, we can have induced boilers, which increases the funnel capacity. That's um, something that might be important once we place the, uh, the funnels, but we'll. Uh, Think about that when that that time comes. Uh, so steam turbines, uh, geared steam turbines. I'm thinking I want this battle cruiser to be as modern as possible. Smoke interference, uh, engine weight, cost, fuel storage. This is uh this is better of course the turbine. Um however but a lot of more weight to it. 
well, it, no, sorry, I'm looking at the same, the same on the wrong thing. Uh, no, actually, the steam turbines do have less engine weight, but they do have less horsepower per engine. So let's go with the geared steam turbines now. Uh, auxiliary engines are used to pump out uh, water. Uh, stuff like that oops so turning rates rudder shift speed pumping shift prepares everything is better except the cost goes up and the engine weight goes up which mm, also needs uh, more fuel stowage um hmm. well can change these around later if we want to so let's go with the uh, auxiliary diesel engine mark 2 shafts do we want yes we do uh, so we have a semi balanced rubber <laughs> rubber uh, semi balanced rudder it doesn't it's neutral it doesn't give any uh, bonuses or, or negative uh, can have an unbalance which uh, the only good thing really is that it uh, decreases or increases the turning rate but other than that I usually go with the balanced one it does give a worse turning rate but everything else is in the green so uh, let's go with the balanced rudder steam steering we got hydraulic and electric a lot of the electric steering gear turning rate rudder shift speed that's basically the only thing that's good Got a lot of negative modifiers on ship repairs water pumping tra traverse speed Let's go with standard steam actually because yeah let's go with that for now we can check out the stats later uh, we want the crop 2 armor which uh, costs a lot but it has a very good armor strength and actually less armor weight let's go with that anti-torp I usually never use uh, And I don't know. No, it's not. Double bottom hull increases resistance, uh, ship construction time and hull weight, of course, torpedo damage, torpedo flooding chance. Let's go with the single hull but bottom for now. Anti flood. Not used that either does increase the wave let's go with the anti-flood one citadel is definitely something we want uh, torpedo spotting and gunnery and such armament do we want range finders well yes we do um, gun base accuracy gun aiming speed uh, uh, uh. Range accuracy. So I guess it's kind of what we want the battle cruiser to do. I want it to be a battle cruiser, <laughs> a smaller battleship, basically. Let's see what kind of guns we could mount on this thing. Okay, 33 centimeter guns. So that's that's not bad. We probably could. What's the range? 20.4 kilometers. Yeah, so let's focus then maybe on long range accuracy. But I guess gun base accuracy wouldn't be bad either. Hmm. That is the question. Oops. 
gun base accuracy, is this something we can take a look at? Can't really see anything about, well there's the accuracy. Well, not very good accuracy at long range, obviously. Uh, so can I see how that affects this? No, but it should be a way to see that somewhere around here. Details, base accuracy plus 36%, long range accuracy plus 35%. So if we remove the range finder, base accuracy goes down. Uh, long range accuracy stays the same. See this? Okay, plus 50 long range accuracy. Oh. Well, we still get the plus 30. Aiming speed, oops, aiming speed goes up. Well, that's the question. That is the question. 30, 50 long range accuracy. You know what? Let's go with the base accuracy. And it's pretty much in line with the long range accuracy. So, aiming speed is very good as well. I think we'll go with that. Acoustics, no. I guess torpedo spotting range. Uh, not necessary. Um, the communication range, I don't know how this works, but I'm guessing that it has to do with uh, ships being in formation, maybe? Not sure. It only s says that it advances at a radio communication. This is the maximum communication range, but do we even have a Communication range, we actually do. 5.5, I guess that's. I don't know. Is that in kilometers or. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's not go with the radio, I don't really care. So let's take a look at what we want. Well, let's place down some funnels and see if we can get a good engine efficiency. Enhanced funnel. Uh, so let's just play. I'm just going to place them for now and I can round as I want. So now we're up to. Okay, so if we have three funnels, we get up to 98.6 engine efficiency. Which is good. Um, yeah, so we're only at 77% of the uh, total displacement we are able to use, so that is that is good. Um, reload time seems to be the same on these these ones. Rate of fire on this 3.5 centimeter gun is a bit faster, but overall this is less muscle velocity is less than this one. It does penetrate quite a bit more armor. Range 20.4 kilometers. So the question is: Want to mount the super big guns? Well, let's just place this down and see what we can do. So obviously, there's going to be some trouble with it with the. Thinking, I, I, I want more than two t uh, t 
turret. Uh, so I have to make room if I want to. It's going to be a bit hard. Let's see, let's just move these guys around for now. Let's see if we could mount a turret. Their turrets right here. Go with a barbette. It's quite a big one and it's gonna block that one. Can I move this forward a bit more? Yes I can. Okay. So let's see what would happen. I did this. Well, they do have quite good, quite, quite good, um, firing, uh, whatever. I'm losing words again. Uh, so let's, how far back can we move this one? It's all a question of how many guns we want and if... Well... It's too big. Could fit all these big guns. Uh, problemo. However, so one armor and um, smaller guns uh, as well. Can we move this forward just a bit? Does that make any difference? I don't know. Well, it does have a lot of big guns. And it's got bigger guns than my battleship, actually. But hey, it's not going to have as much armor, obviously, because, because of the weight of the guns. So secondary guns, what do we have? These ones are pretty big. Yeah, they are big. Big, big. I don't see that. That is completely necessary. I think that 15.2 centimeter guns would be enough, at least to deal with smaller targets. Perhaps. Could go with that or just a bunch bunch of small ones, but these are too small. I don't think these will be able to do anything uh, against anything. Uh, maybe torpedo boats, but they're too small. I think we should at least have 10.2 centimeter guns. That would be the smallest caliber, I think. And we have to remember this uh the battle cruiser is going to be protected by light light cruisers as well, so uh but it's always a good thing to have uh secondary guns, of course. Could also mount uh, some side guns, which is uh, would be super big. But I think that having this is eight eight barrels broadside of eight barrels which is imperative to battleship so I think that will be fine. Firing arc of the front guns uh, isn't the best especially this this one all the way to the front, so let's see if I can this back. 
that change anything? Probably made it. question how far f towards the front we want to have this gun have a good let's see if I move you for just a smidge this one obviously has a great field of fire because there's nothing really behind him uh, behind the uh, him <laughs> behind the turret so uh, so let's, 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 let's. Another thing would be to have <coughs> casemate guns, of course, for smaller targets. Um, that's another option. Or perhaps go down a bit in the caliber of the main guns. Oh, but that's not really what I want. In stat wise, uh, I mean, there's obviously quite a bit more damage with the 33 centimeter guns, uh, but other than that, it can shoot a bit further. Or farther, uh, thirty point five centimeter can fire at eighteen point nine kilometers. This one at twenty point four, and I don't think that's gonna make really big difference. Penetration does go up quite a bit, actually. So. Rate of fire is quite slow, reload time quite a bit more. Well, let's go with that for, for now anyway. Uh, but, but, but what else? Secondary guns, yeah. So, how about this 12.7? Mm. I mean, yeah, we're gonna have to have something that can fire more quickly than the big guns, obviously. So I can fit a lot of these single barrel ones. Well, maybe I can fit a, probably as many with these two barrel guns. But that can't, oh, okay. So he has a really bad firing arc because he can't swing the turret all the way around. This guy has a much better firing arc. Let's just place some of these down and see what we can do. Uh, so wait wise they aren't that bad actually the only one with the best firing arc is this gun but I don't really care if they can fire forward or to the stern I think that most important thing is that they can fire to the sides of the ship to deal with any pesky cruisers smaller cruisers um, Casemate guns, they feel so outdated. Yeah, we're past, you know, we're able to uh, have quite a few of those. So maybe let's take a look at this 15.2 centimeter because that's uh, and even have them in casemate mounts rather have have them in turrets actually ooh it's a big 
big change in damage on these compared to the 12.7 guns, cinema guns. So, what if... Oh yeah, you could actually place them on top of the... What I saw, the enemy could place them up on top of the big guns. Maybe you could type of barbette. Place them on top of the turrets? No. So I guess I'm missing something obvious. It wasn't these ones, these are only in made mounts. I don't know how they did that. But obviously they the British could. Probably need to take a look at that and see. Because there should there is a way, I'm sure. Can can you not tall small I don't know how you cannot mount them on top of the guns. Well, obviously the British has some some type of black magic since they're able to do that. Um, yeah. So, do I need more guns? More smaller guns? Can have these, they're not in turrets. Could probably a bunch more of them. But let's take a look at the armor. See if how high we can go with this. If we can get it up to a 30. Should be able to, yes. So it's actually not that much worse than the battleship. Well it's uh, yeah, 36 centimeters. So let's pump up the aft belt to 10 and the fore belt, which is usually a bit thicker than the aft belt. Main deck 70, 7 centimeters, 4 centimeters. I think that should be pretty much okay. Turret armor. Let's get that up to, I don't know, 29 centimeters. On the side, 6 centimeters on the top. Get that up to seven. Why not? Twenty-nine centimeter twenty-nine twenty-nine centimeters, that should be okay. Um <clears throat> so you can go with standard, light, or heavy shells. Uh light shells uh has less range uh and less penetration and uh, high explosives shells damage. They do save a lot of weight, have a larger or greater muscle velocity, less ammunition detonation chance, and faster reload time, but eh, no. Um, heavy shells, of course, cause a lot more damage, and they have long range, but they have less accuracy and stuff like that. So we'll go with the standard ones. Um, this is the complement of any uh, shells you are have on your ship. We'll go standard on that. Uh, propellant. See these ones get, have a uh, negative modifier on gun base accuracy which is not what I want. So these are worse in terms of flash fires. Um, but no, they're not actually. These ones are worse. So let's go with white powder. Um, do I want something else? Shell charges. Patient shell damage. The flash fire spreading and explosion chances. Yeah. Great. This is plus forty. So. Less hold weight, shell damage. HE shell damage goes down quite a bit. 
will uh, save a lot of weight and a lot less risk of having uh, flash fires. So anyway, any one of these, let's go with TNT one then. Just go with that. Let's try that out. Uh, hydraulic turrets, yes, we could have electro hydraulics, turret reverse speed, cost. I'm not too concerned about the traverse speed actually. So let's go with advanced hydraulics. Standard reloading, we want. Uh, enhanced. There we go. So we're up to 98% um, of total displacement. Uh, assistance, uh, it's okay. Whole form is good. Stability is pretty good. Floatability as well. Speed loss due to turning. Oh, uh, well. It's okay. Weight offsets. Yeah, we'll deal with the off with the weight uh, offset. Action roll. It's not good. Uh, it's accuracy. La di da. La di di. Third daytime white wind. We have a plus forty two. Waves? I don't know. So we don't have it, torpedo detection range, it's not good, but it's gonna be screened by other ships, so I think we'll be fine. Uh engine pirate top speed twenty-eight knots. Well uh should we add smaller guns? I Guess we could. I don't know. Smaller guns. That is a question. Yeah, this, you were going to have horrible firing arcs. You actually too bad. I feel like I should have more guns, uh, but I don't know. Don't know. Could have these go over me. No, pretty close to max, but you have these 15.2 centimeters and these seven. Have more firepower in the front frontal arc, basically. Okay, so uh, we have a weight offset, which means that there's more weight in the front. So we need to fill around to get that down because you do not want to have a weight offset at all. So we could just move the tower. And we'll get rid of that. So, well, we might get more because I want to fiddle around with the armor a bit more. So we might. Uh, let's get the main belt up. On. See how high we can go. Two, that's that's not bad. Eight. How fast are my battleships? Twenty-two. So this is a way faster. Twenty-eight as fast as the heavy or armored cruisers. Almost as fast as the light cruisers. Um, can we do? We can do twenty-eight points. Five, four. Could let's keep it at 28. I think that's enough. And they have a long, long range, which is very good. Uh, natural boilers. So, if we go because we have an engine efficiency of 98.6, which is 
Well, we could go with the induced, but ah, uh, that's 98.6 is good. It doesn't really have to be 100%. Uh, keep that steam steering and everything like the anti flood number uh, one, anti torp. I don't really. As long as I'm keeping, uh, as long as I am, temporary bulkheads, reinforced. I mean, uh, as long as I um, am attentive and don't run into torpedoes, I should be fine. Uh, how about the aft belt? How much can we for belt? Deck. Okay. So let's do that. So we are almost at maximum 25,000 tons. Uh, it's going to cost 24 million to build, which is. Uh, oh, it's actually more expensive than my battleships. But I think this is going to work pretty well as a substitute to battleships. It's heavily armed. We don't have a lot of small caliber guns. Uh, But hopefully we will be able to uh, screen the battle cruiser with smaller ships. Yeah, so I think uh, this will be the Lauenburg. Okay, so I think that's it. It's probably mo probably not the best. Uh, the best. Uh, ba -ba -ba balanced and efficient ship, but I think it will actually do fine. I guess we'll find out anyway. That's how we find out going into battle. So let's save this design. And let's actually, before we build anything, what is my finance? 65 million, so it's no big deal. So let's... Um, cost per month. Hmm. Quite high. Uh, cost per month, I think that is when they are under. Uh, while they are being built. But I want to get a few of those out at least. Three, four, five, six of them. A minus fourteen million, almost fifteen million. So that's that's not good. But we will, though, get some money back once we've repaired uh, the other ships that are repairing. So I think. Um, We'll see how it goes. I do have a buffer of 65 million uh, in naval funds, so hopefully that will be enough. Uh, we also have a convoy battle. Should go okay for us. And there was also a standard battle, uh, which we would probably also be able to win. But that is a video for another day. So, uh, Thank you very much for watching, I uh, hope you enjoy this and I'll see you in the next one.